Hi friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about decorating for the 4th of July, which is coming up so quickly. I still cannot believe it's June, but I'm starting to think about decorating, pulling out all of my patriotic decor. Cannot wait to actually do some decorating. It has been a while. But to get started, I want to first go through all of my patriotic decor that I have already. I'm going to bring you along with me to Hobby Lobby and now that everything is finally 40% off, pick up a few things and share everything that I buy and that will be today's video. And then coming up here probably in the next, I don't know, few days, don't quote me on that, we'll see how the scheduling all goes. But within the next few days, I will decorate and share that in a whole separate video. So today is all about looking through my existing decor and sharing with you a few new finds as well. If you watched my last video, I talked briefly about this. So I'm going to be decorating for the 4th of July. So just red, white, and blue decor for now. And then once that holiday is passed, I am going to do just some standard summer decor, mostly in the kitchen. And that will be in the form of lemons and yellow and that kind of stuff. So more decorating to come in July. And of course, then we're already talking fall as we get into August and September. So yeah, I am excited. I just, I love decorating seasonally and the kids love it too. I think it's so fun, especially with them being home on summer break so we can actually enjoy the decor that I put out. So I have a huge bin right here full of decor that I've just collected over the years. I've decorated for the fourth, oh my goodness, I couldn't even tell you how many years. So some of these things I've had for quite a while. I'm gonna put this down before I break something like a body part but let's just start let's just jump into my decor so i do have two little table runners i don't even know if i'm going to be using table runners we have the round table now in the kitchen and i've really kind of gotten away from using them but i did buy this one last year at hobby lobby i love this so i may try to find a place to use this whether it be on my sideboard or somewhere else now these I actually purchased from Kirkland's I think these are a couple maybe two or three years old now they probably still sell them but these I actually will put out on my front steps like on the day of the fourth or for that whole weekend I'll do like a little mini front porch decorating so these usually go out there I haven't I don't think I've ever used these inside but yeah those are kind of fun cute little firecrackers I actually I can show you when I share with you what I find at Hobby Lobby, I'll share with you a couple of Target Dollar Spot things, but I found like a mini version of that for a tear tray, I'm hoping if it's the right size. Wouldn't be seasonal decorating without a towel. I think these are from Hobby Lobby. I have one little mini sign that I use. This comes from my favorite Etsy shop. She makes the cutest little signs. I can link her shop down below. And I will link some of my previous videos from other years that I've decorated. If you want to go ahead and watch right now what I have used all of these things for in the past. I have a couple, you know, the basic little flags. I think these were from the Target dollar spot. I don't know, but you can find them anywhere. But this is a little pinwheel. It's actually, it's one of these. But I don't know if it broke off or if I did it intentionally, but it's like the perfect way now to just set on a tiered tray. It's kind of like a little half pinwheel. You could stick it in something or on top of something. So I don't know. These you could find at, I think, Hobby Lobby. This was my favorite find last year. I think of everything that I picked up. This was from Hobby Lobby. Now this sign, where was this? Walmart. This I usually put on my mantle. I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. I kind of want to make something on my own with my Cricut. I'm not quite sure if I'll have time or how it's going to work yet, but another flag. I usually, I'll stick these in my plants outside of our front porch, like when it gets closer to the holiday. Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. This is probably one of my favorite things I've ever bought out of the Target dollar spot for the 4th of July. I just love the plaid pattern on it. This. Uh, was a few years ago. There was one year where I was having such a hard time finding these little mini wreaths from the Target dollar spot, but Denise, I believe, a subscriber, she hooked me up one year with one of them, I think. Joann's has these, and I think I have not been to Joann's in quite a while, especially at a time where they have their patriotic decor out. No, this is Michael's, I take that back. They have the prettiest little flowers 
you get like a big bouquet i've cut them over the years just to place in different things but they have like little silver sparkly things in the middle they're just really pretty a couple years ago i bought this ray dunn mug I don't know about you, but I was kind of a little bit disappointed in the Target Dollar Spots patriotic decor. They didn't really come out with a ton this year. I don't know. I feel like I've gotten a lot of cute things over the years, but nothing really wowed me. Just a couple of little things. But these are from the Target Dollar Spot. They're just two little succulents. They're in like little star pots. Where's this from? Kirkland's. So I think, I don't can't remember how many years ago. Just a star lantern in the Target dollar spot. Oh, and these were super cute. I don't, does it say the year on these? 2019, so two years ago, I guess. Target had these. These are little dipping bowls. You can stack them, perfect for tier tray. Target dollar spot, some beads. I think, if I remember correctly, these were from Hobby Lobby. Who remembers my popsicle truck? Ah! I remember how excited, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> I remember the one year I ordered this. I was so excited for it, but isn't that the cutest little ice cream truck you ever saw? So fun. This was from Pier 1, did I tell you that? Yeah, Pier 1. A few final things before we head to Hobby Lobby, but I have this America sign or Made in America. This is from Home Good. I also have these little salt and pepper shakers. Hobby Lobby, pretty sure they still have them. Uncle Sam hat was a gift from a subscriber. And then lastly, I mean, there's a couple of really small things, like a couple of really old wax stars. And then lastly, I have this banner. I was gonna say garland, this banner. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby, but honestly, it could have been the Target dollar spot too. So that's pretty much it, I think. I think I may have a Target Dollar Spot pillow hidden downstairs in my storage room that I'll need to go find when it comes time to decorating. I also ordered a pillow from Kirkland's. I will put up a picture of what it looks like. I saw it in the store, I didn't pick it up, and I've been thinking about it ever since and how it would just like be perfect on our couch and just match all of my existing pillows. But it says America, it's a really pretty blue. It's a really good size, so I will link that pillow below. I'm hoping it gets here before I share the decorate with me that's coming up. And then, of course, I have a couple of dollar spot things that I'll just share with you after our trip to Hobby Lobby. So let's go there, let's check out what they all have out. I briefly walked through it one other time, but nothing was on sale, and so I kinda just up and got out of there so I didn't get myself into any trouble. <laughs> but I'd like to find maybe a couple of more mini things for tiered trays, maybe a couple of signs. I have a weakness for signs. I just love them. So we're gonna go check it all out and then we'll meet back here and I'll share with you everything that I pick up. The question is, should I pick all of this up before I head there? Probably. Now that I have an idea of what I already have, it's time to check out what Hobby Lobby has out for this year. Now, like I mentioned, everything is 40% off and I'm very happy about that. I've been waiting. It seems like this took a lot longer than it should have for things to go on sale. I'm always on the hunt for anything small for tiered trays and I have a weakness for the mini trucks. I think after I left, I saw three different versions of patriotic trucks. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. You should know this about me, that I am a big fan of seasonal decorating, specifically for different holidays. I share a lot of that content on my channel. So if you aren't already subscribed, I would very much appreciate it if you did.
all kinds of decor for your front yards or your porches. I always love their front porch signs that they come out with this time of year. I also really thought this three pack of these decorative balls was very unique if you have a dough bowl. A little spoiler alert, of course I love all of these signs, but I am thinking about going back. I did not pick up these stars, but I think they would be just perfect to do two of them on our mantle. So stay tuned for my decorate with me to see if I do go back. now so many good things to look at I will say there were quite a few things I didn't look at in depth because like paper plates and napkins weren't really something that we needed we actually don't host the 4th of July here we always always go out to my father-in-law's he lives out on the lake and we it's an all-day thing where we grill out eat a ton of food the kids swim boat rides yard games and then fireworks of course when it gets dark outside so I didn't really need to do anything as far as like entertaining goes, but we still like to decorate, enjoy it all the way up until the 4th. So yeah, and when I was putting everything away, which I did, I forgot to share this with you. I actually painted this last year when we were, you know, stuck at home, which all of us pretty much were. Uh, one of our local pottery stores, she was offering take home kits. And so I got everything for the kids and then I also got one too to paint. So it was like an all day thing where we all painted. But I decided to paint this cute little lantern. So I'm gonna add him to my little tear tray. Totally forgot about that, so so fun. And then briefly on one of my Target runs, oh my goodness, this would have been like a month or two ago, probably a month ago, I saw they had just stocked a lot of like their little mini sign so i picked up this little set of the firecrackers i thought that was super fun for three dollars i don't know they're not attached which is great so then you can kind of position them in different places on the tray i'm not sure if the tall one will fit but the other two should for sure and then the other one i picked up was this set of three signs as well i just i don't know i really liked it i like houses we know this our home sweet home this may go in our living room not a tear tray i don't know yet but it was only three dollars for three signs so i grabbed that one as well you all know i just i have a thing for signs now let's talk hobby lobby i have one bag she filled it full for me but i saw this in someone's video and i was really excited about it but now i'm kind of wondering if i might have to take it back because i did not see that it is spot clean only that makes me so sad <sighs> Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to take it back. There's no way this will stay clean, but I'm gonna share it with you because I was really, um, I don't know, I really thought this was a, such a great idea for us, but it was this picnic blanket. I love the plaid pattern. They also had a striped one, normally $29.99. So yeah, I think it's gonna go back now that I think about it because it, I can't just throw it in the wash. And we know with four kids, a dog, I mean, it's gonna get dirty and spot cleaning probably, just the way it feels probably isn't going to get it clean. So I thought this was so fun though. I'll start with a couple of random things that I picked up for the actual 4th of July day. I, sorry, I don't know why, but I was like, oh my gosh, the kids will love to do these. They like to do tattoos, the temporary tattoos, but they're glow in the dark and of course they're all fun, patriotic. Um, pictures so I think they'll really like that these are only a dollar 99 so what was that a dollar 25 for these tattoos so we'll do this the morning of and they'll be so excited so we got those and then I'm thinking for Macy and I will share these they're just little cute scrunchies I love the little 
bows or ties on them. But these were $3.49 full price. Of course, like I mentioned, everything's on sale, which is what I was waiting for. This was kind of a last minute grab because I was like, ooh, I think I could maybe use this on my tiered tray. That's what I'm always thinking. Could I use that on the tray? What about that? It's a napkin ring. Just a little napkin ring. Normally $2.99. I don't know. I just think napkin rings, I've talked about this, is one of my little tricks. You can either just put them under something and it just gives a little extra something. You can either, you can make them look like little wreaths. I don't know. I saw, I was like, ooh, we'll just try it and see how that goes. The next thing I found was something I was like really... See? mowing again it's like a light goes on outside crystal's recording a sit down video it's time to start mowing everybody i only have a couple more things though so we're just going to finish up here while the twins are still napping but the next thing i found i actually saw a while back when they started putting out all the decor i was like oh my gosh i have to have that and i this was the first thing i was looking for but it was this bicycle it's wooden so perfect, you know, to sit anywhere really, but our kids just love riding their bikes right now, and I just think they will love this little decoration. So, got this. This, I believe, was normally $3.99. So, yeah, I was so happy to get the little bike. And then the last, no, two things left. I went ahead and grabbed the Stars and Stripes Forever stacked books with the little beads, only $8.99 full price. I thought that was a good price. It's basically just a wooden box set. This was the last one they had of the white, but I thought, you know, this might look cute on a couple of different places in our living room, not necessarily a tiered tray. Man, my camera is not focusing, but lots of fun places to put this, and I don't have anything like that in my decor collection, so I got that. The last thing that I found at Hobby Lobby, again, I kind of saw it as I was heading out of that section. I was like, how did I miss that? I love this. It's this little sign, I guess it's not little, it's eight by eight, so it's too big for a tiered tray. This is proud to be an American, just something you can easily set somewhere and you have instant patriotic decor. So I grabbed that as well. Forgot one last thing to share with you. It was wrapped up in this paper, so I didn't even see it, but as I was putting the picnic blanket back in the bag to return it, I found it. I'm like, I have to share this, I cannot go without. But I did pick up the ceramic truck will be fun to fill with something and yeah you know where this is going to go i i don't even need to tell you but 7.99 okay my friends that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoy just looking through my decor seeing what i picked up to decorate for this year like i said i'm waiting on that one pillow to show up and then we will get started so just make sure you are subscribed so you won't miss that decorate with me video let me know in the comments below if you did any patriotic decor this year if you did what are you decorating are you doing tiered trays are you decorating your kitchen just let me know. I'd love to hear it. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.